Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion on Ham Club Online and how to set your club up on this platform. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis. My call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And like I said, today we're going to be continuing our discussion on Ham Club Online and how to set your club up on it. But before we do that, please make sure you click on the subscribe button down right here, right there in the bottom right hand corner, as well as the bell icon so you don't miss any of these videos that I put out in this series or just in general. And I appreciate all of y'all subscribing and watching my videos and sharing them. Uh, please make sure that you do and please make sure you share. All right, so let's head on over to uh, the computer and check out what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so this is the back end of Ham Club Online. We've seen this many, many times before. Uh, we've pretty well covered everything in this section over here, the, the administrative part of it. And we've touched on most of the stuff in the uh, officers area, as well, I'm going to call this area. So we're going to look down here at the bottom. We're going to look at these uh, reporting sections. Uh, first off, we're going to look at the membership reporting. All right, so end of the membership reporting is just kind of a general overview of what your membership is about. Um, this first one here, I'm not sure where this information comes from. I've looked everywhere and I cannot find anything about it. Uh, I don't know if it gets a, a, a feed from ARRL uh, or if it's manually put in somewhere that I'm just not finding or what. But I can't find anywhere uh, that it does this. And it would be nice to have maybe a feature where you can select it instead of saying ARRL volunteer examiners. It could be others because there is you know, W5YI. There's several other VECs out there. But this just has the ARRL VE list. And of course, we don't have any and I don't know where to put it at. So there's nothing in this section. All right, so next up, membership map. And this thing is really cool. Uh, this will open up a map of where all of your uh, people live at, all of your memberships live at. And this is, um, this is where I am. I am living outside of Claiborne. Uh, the little flashy um, flag is where the user that's logged in is at, um, and this is just a PO box, so it's not where I live at. Um, but you can see the different places that people live. You can click on them, and it'll tell you who they are, where their address is. And there's actually more than just one there. Let's zoom in here a little bit and see if it shows more than one. Nope, it just shows the one. But this will be really nice to have um, to get kind of a general overview of where you are. This would be really nice in like a uh, Skywarn type setting. Um, so you can see where everybody's home is to, to lay out where your uh, spotters are going to be, stuff like that. So a really neat feature. All right, next up, membership rank distribution. Um, this one is will break down all of your ranks, whether you're a member or an officer is what we have here. And I only have three people in, so it's only a three people uh, count in two officers, one regular member. And let's back up. License class distribution. This would be nice to tell, just so you can figure out how many people are extras, how many are generals, technician, advanced, um, novice, uh, whatever that it may be. Um, Next up is the, I'm going to skip the the X work for right now. I'm going to look at security role assignments. This will show you who has the uh, top role uh, of what, um, basically you have the administrative part of it. And you can click on it on this little thing here and I'll tell you what that uh, rank can do. And tells you, you know, uh, who assigned this person when their last login was stuff like that. All right, so the uh, club roster export, you click on it, and it simply exports a um, uh, comma, uh, comma separated file, so you can import that into maybe Excel or something like that. All right, so that is pretty much it for the, um, um, for this section of it. Um, we'll look at the skills recording in the next video so make sure you tune into that uh, make sure you click on the subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner 
as well as the bell icon so you don't miss that video or any of the other videos in this series. Please make sure you check out the playlist that I have all of these videos on um, to know maybe more about it, maybe answer some of the questions that you have. Um, but anyways, that is it for now. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I read all the comments. I answer them as best to my ability. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. So until then, this is K5CLM signing out. 73, y'all.